they knit, they spent a week having lunch, and then they presented it to the head of communications there, Richard Dixon. He loved it, and the concept was launched. So the original idea was to twin just 500 toilets, and they were going to use that to invest in course programme in Burundi. That target was hit after just three months, and they quickly realised that they needed to find a partner with global reach to, to see it to its full potential. And that's where they got working with Tear Fund, and Toilet Twinning was created as a brand. So, clearly it's a fantastic cause, very worth giving money to. What I liked about it today is it strikes me as this is something that any charity can get its hands on the ideas of. You don't need massive reach, you don't need massive scale or a massive name. There's five reasons why this is an excellent idea. First of all, it's so simple. I instantly understand what it's about. The name tells me what it's about. It's about toilets, and I can see it's about the developing world. So there's no need to do messaging behind it. There's no need to explain what it's all about. It's humorous, and so it engages me. So as a passerby, the man in the street, knowing nothing about the cause or about the charities, I'm engaged. It's got my attention. Second thing, I can really relate to it. Rightly or wrongly in the UK, a country like the UK, words like poverty or health or education kind of wash over us a little bit. They make us feel guilty about our wealth compared to other countries. But they don't really hammer home, they don't actually connect with how that money's going to be spent. In this case, I can see this is about toilets. So I've got a proper connection to the cause. So you've got my interest and I understand exactly where the money's going to. And that's all been achieved in the name. The third one, the idea of jokes. There's lots of fantastic fundraising ideas out there. But once I've read the email, once I've made my donation, run the race, worn the t-shirt, taken the photograph, there's nothing left. Maybe I've got the memories and as a donor, that's enough for me. But with this, I went to that toilet in Birmingham. I don't know when Friends Meeting House had sponsored the toilet, a twin the toilet. But it was there, it was there for everybody to see. I loved the idea and I copied it. And I love it when charities get this bit right. Because not only does the donor want to give money to the charity, they then take the idea away and they share that with the rest of the world. So they're now doing the charity's work for them. It's, it's ingenious, it's so simple. So you pay, pay the money and then you go and advertise the idea and it propagates. You don't point the clicker at the screen, I've just worked that out. It's only <laughs> Entry level fundraising ask of £60. That's possibly a bit high if you normally try and attend to donor, £5, £10, £50. £60 start up high. The price is actually based on the true cost of building the toilet, depending on which country, it's between £10 and £200, but that's not really the point. £60 is a figure I can relate to. It's certainly cheaper than going to BMQ. If I did that, I'd still have to go fit it myself. But what's more, I get something tangible for it. I mentioned the framed picture that I saw when I was going to the toilet. And as the donor, I'm going to put it back in something tangible that reinforces the value of my gift. And this also really works well in the corporate context. Companies, to be honest, companies are very lazy about wanting to tick the philanthropic box. So if we can give some money, get a certificate and go and put it up on the wall, brilliant. So £60 is a good price, it may be a high price compared to a lot of fundraising assets, but it's a good price because it's a good product at the end of it. So you don't need to be shy about what you're asking for. And the fifth reason is the execution of the idea. After twinning the toilet, I'm sent a photograph of the toilet. It's not generic, which I like, it gives me something to talk about when people see it. It's got the grid reference, I mentioned that already, I like maps. Um, but the best bit of all is the frame. Really simple thing, but the frame is the key to the whole idea for me. Because I don't receive through the envelope some nice little lay fire certificate that I don't really know what to do with, that I haven't got a frame to put it up, it gets creased and I leave it on the side and it gets piled, especially in an office context. It's come in the frame, so there's absolutely no obstacle for me taking that and putting it straight up on the wall. And that's what makes it, in my mind, the perfect fundraising product. You start off thinking about the cause, 
so simple to get the message around the course out to the to the audience. You get the money, but then you're thinking on about acquiring the next donor. So I'm going to let you go to the toilet in a minute. Um, my brief was to talk about something that was not my own fundraising idea. That's quite easy. I don't do fundraising ideas. Um, and in fact, a few ideas I've ever suggested to charities I've worked with have turned around and said, don't give up your day job. <laughs> so I'm, I'm definitely not going to suggest to Toilet Twinning that they should send a photograph of me out to some, some family on the other side of the world to put on their toilet, because apparently that would not be a very good idea. <laughs> but I do know a good idea when I see one, and I wish I'd thought of that.